we know from ancient legend of the books of Enoch that there was a group of angels who descended to earth in violation of divine law. They introduced to humanity ways, means, knowledge, which we would understand today as science and technology. These angels were in human form. They were called in Hebrew ishim, which means men. They looked just like us. Paraka skull, number 44. Discovered in 2012, it has a weight of 2.8 pounds, 25% heavier than the average adult male skull. It has a cranial capacity of 1,500 cubic centimeters, 20% greater than normal. And it is missing a sagittal suture, the connective tissue joint found between the parietal bones in all human skulls. This is just one of hundreds of strange, misshapen skulls that have been found on the southern coast of Peru, dating back to 1927. Up here on the computer, this is how we generated the, the skull model with all of these little dots the laser picked up and was able to create a fairly accurate rendering of the skull. That's amazing. Analyzing the bone structure, Marcia begins to generate virtual layers of muscle and tissue to recreate the facial anatomy of the Paracas skull. You can tell by this skull, the cheeks are prominent, the chin is very prominent, the eyes, obviously the sockets are much larger and that's always difficult. I'm adding a little bit more length to the neck. I think that probably the skull had a very strong neck, so added material there. Create the cranial formation of the skull. Based on the shape of the skull, Marcia approximates where to add additional tissue and muscle until finally a face emerges. That's remarkable. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the, the buildup, slowly building up the cheeks, the jawline, the eyes. This again is a reconstruction, but it's an interpretation of what this physical could have looked like. And here she is. Well, you have brought a 2,000-year-old skull to life and answers some questions, but presents many more. Absolutely. Marcia's interpretation I find very intriguing because what she has been able to represent is atypical of the native people that we find in coastal Peru today. The Paracas culture disappeared 2,000 years ago. <coughs> Nor did they leave oral tradition or written documentation of any sort. So we have no idea, in fact, who they were and where they came from. 